let's solve for the value of x. Oh, let's introduce a length, a natural log to both sides of this equation. So we have ln 2 to the power of x is equal to ln x, all right? Now, when you have something like this, ln a to the power of b is equal to b multiplied by ln a. So we can bring this down to get x ln 2 is equal to ln x. Now let's divide both sides of this equation by x. So we divide this by x and divide this by x. x we divide itself to give us 1. 1 times ln 2 is ln 2. So we have ln 2 is equal to ln x. Now remember that when you, uh, this is same thing as ln x multiplied by 1 over x, right? Yeah. So we have ln 2 is equal to ln x multiplied by, now 1 over x is equal to x to the power of minus 1. So that is what we are going to write here, x to the power of minus 1. Now, um, I want to introduce us to a function, uh, yes, the Lambert W function. Now, this function states that if you have a e to the power of a, if you apply the Lambert W function, your answer is A. Yes. And the other thing is that E to the power of ln A is equal to what A. So this is actually how we introduce E into this. Or into anything we are solving using the Lambert W function. Okay? To make it look like this. So whatever we have that is multiplying our E must be the power of E for this function to work. So we are going to manipulate this in order to have something like this so that we can find our uh, X. Okay? So first, um, permit me to transfer this to this side. So I now have ln X multiplied by X to the power of minus 1 is equal to ln two so from here you can say x minus one ln x is equal to ln two now let's introduce e yes so let's introduce e we have e to the power of ln x to the power of minus one remember what i said that e to the power of ln a is a so e to the power of ln x to the power of minus one is still x to the power of minus one we have not changed anything okay is equal to ln two now this can be written as e to the power of this minus one we cross to become minus ln x is equal to ln two. Oh, what am I doing? E to the power of we have done this, we forgot this. Please let's bring it in. So multiplied by ln x is equal to ln two. The same thing here. Multiplied by ln x is equal to ln 2 okay yeah this ln x because the whole of this is just for this all right now let's bring this to this side to make this look so look better so ln x e to the power of minus ln x is equal to ln 2 now if this is the first time you are seeing us what's preventing you from hitting that subscription button so hit your subscription button turn on your notification bell so that you don't miss our amazing videos we upload videos two to three times every day so at your leisure time tune in to watch new uploads thank you very much and please give us a thumbs up if, if you are actually enjoying this video now this is where we are remember the what we said when you apply the Lambert w function to something in this way it must be in this form. Now, notice that we have ln x, ln x, but this particular ln x has negative sign. So that means that for this number W function to work, this one must have negative sign. Both of them must be the same. So to get negative sign, that means I need to multiply both sides of this equation by minus 1. So that is exactly what I will do now. So I have minus ln x e to the power of minus ln x is equal to minus ln 2. Perfect. At this point, this is the perfect time to introduce the Lambert W function. Okay. So if I introduce that, the Lambert W function of minus natural log of x e to the power of minus natural log of x is equal to the Lambert W function of minus natural log of 2. Now, from what we discussed, this will now give us minus ln x, right? Is equal to the Lambert W function of minus ln 2. But remember that we are looking for the value of x and not minus ln x. 
first of all, let's remove this negative sign by dividing both sides by minus 1 or multiplying both sides by minus 1. So if we do that, we are going to have that ln x is equal to minus lambda w function of minus ln 2. Okay, so now, like I said, we are looking for x and not ln x. And also remember that if I introduce base e here, that is e to the power of ln x, I will get x. So that's what I will do. I will introduce base e to both sides of this equation. So I will now write e to the power of ln x is equal to e to the power of minus lambda w function of minus ln 2. Okay? So from here, we now have that ln x is equal to, sorry, x, not ln x. x is equal to e to the power of minus lambda w function of minus ln 2. All right. Have you given us a thumbs up yet? Please do that if you have not. All right. So from here, we have that x is equal to, now to remove this negative sign, remember that a to the power of minus x is equal to 1 over a to the power of x. Okay. So in order to remove this negative sign, I'll write x is 1 over e to the power of the lambda w function of minus ln 2. Okay, now this is the value of x, but, but if you should type this, if you press this, you cannot get the value of the lambda w function of minus ln2. That means that it doesn't have any real value. It has a complex value. Okay, all right. Thank you so much for watching. See you in my next video.